Power Mike here at Diesel Smart. We thought we'd take this opportunity. We're doing a kit on a ZD30 non Pomerail Patrol, and it's a good opportunity to show you guys how to fit the new Diesel Smart actuator. Now, what you do if you come over here and have a look is you remove the factory one off by undoing these two 10mm bolts. Once you remove it off, then you take off the adjuster off the arm, like so. Then you get the new uh, diesel smart actuator. You screw the 10mm nut back onto it, like so. And then you screw the adjuster onto it. Undo your two 10mm bolts here. Slide it straight into place, where you can see there. Okay. Now, um, on this arm here, let's get the torch so that I can show you. On this arm here, you'll see the stopper screw. If you can get in there and see it. Oh, you need, yeah, that's it there. So you can see the stopper screw, it's got the yellow on it there. Let's go back a little bit more. Back to the car. Yep. So you can see the stop a screw there and you can see the arm here now that arm there needs to be touching that stopper screw when you install the diesel smart actuator on the factory one when the car's not running that arm is all the way down that's because the vacuum has run away and therefore the arm will drop down but once you start the car if you wanted to test this you can do that once you start the car the arm is always in the up position when it starts Okay, so that's the position that our actuator needs to start from. This is probably the biggest mistake people have made, and that is not winding the arm up. Finger tight against the stopper screw, just there. Now once you've got the two 10mm bolts done up tight, you've got this wound up so that it's touching on the stopper screw. You then lock this nut off nice and tight. If you don't lock that nut off, the arm will wind down and you'll lose your low down boost and your EGTs will start going through the roof again. Once that's installed, then the, the kit also comes with a silicon line. So you just run your silicon line directly out of the actuator to the intercooler, whether it's a monster intercooler like this one here, which is a diesel smart one, or just a factory one. Run it to your boost reference. We're pushing that on there like so. Put a zip tie or something on both ends so they can never ever come off. And that's it, it's fitted, done.